So I decided to uh, order a new toy up. It was a little pricey, but tell you the truth, it's pretty sweet and I'm excited to show you and uh, do a little review on it. So we got right here, it's the Excalibur Micro 380. It's new for 2022. I ordered it a while ago and it finally came in, went and picked it up and this thing is sweet. I mean, it's lightweight. It's got the lightweight stock on it. It's really not that heavy. I forget how much it weighs, but it's not heavy at all. It's a really lightweight maneuverable. So it's gonna be a sweet little hunting unit. I'm gonna go through here and uh, show you what it's kind of all about here. So we'll start with the top here. It's got the Overwatch scope that Excalibur makes. I mean, it is deluxe. It's got the feet per second here when you're sighting it in. It's got red and green uh, illumination on it. It goes from 20 to 100 yards. I mean, if you're shooting 100 yards, you're a warrior, but it's a sweet scope. It's uh, got a lifetime, uh, lifetime warranty on it. It's pretty sweet. I mean, these Excalibur crossbows, they're built to last. I mean, I love just the simplicity of it. You go into an archery shop anymore and you see all these crossbows hanging up and they're getting way too futuristic. They got cams and cables hanging off everywhere. I just don't like them and there's a lot that can go wrong with them. With this thing, you basically got a stick and a string. You can replace the string out in the field. If you break a uh, limb, you can order up new limbs and put them on there. I mean, this thing is built to last. It's got the dead silencers on here. I think that's what they're called. We're going to find out how uh, loud it is when we go shoot it here. It comes with the old uh, Excalibur quiver here that detaches really easily. I mean, that's deluxe for when you're hunting. You just clip it back on there, just like that. And it comes with uh, four of Excalibur's uh, Pro Flight. And it comes with four of these uh, live action uh, Pro Flight Excalibur arrows. I believe these are their high end arrows. I think they're like 80 bucks per four or half a dozen. They're pretty sweet and they got these, uh, I forget what the knock on here is, but it's not like a regular uh, crossbow knock. But uh, what that's for is, is that these crossbows, these Excalibur crossbows, they have a C, I think it's called a cease fire uh, technology. And when you cock that string back and you put this bolt in, I'll show you when we shoot it. You put this bolt in, you gotta get this bolt seated in that groove. If not, this thing will not fire when it's cocked. It will not go off. So that's nice for dry fires and stuff. Stuff like that so it's a really safe crossbow I got the kit and it came with uh, the arrows like I said the scope and uh, came with this uh, your caulking device here Excalibur caulking device which it came with a uh, crank too that goes on the back but I don't like the crank I'd rather just cock it by hand it goes a little quicker and the nice things about these uh, Excalibur crossbows is if you're going on a hunting trip somewhere and you got to travel you can always buy another set of strings and you can always buy another set of limbs and they actually sell a device online where you can actually change the strings out in the field and it's really easy to change the limbs out in the field too so you can't go wrong with this bow I think I paid uh, 1309 for it for the kit compared to what other crossbows are going for in this day and age that's very uh, inexpensive and it has the let's see here it has the real tree escape camo which looks pretty dirty on there then if I can here I'm gonna flip open the scope and I'm gonna turn the illumination on so that way this scope is just freaking sweet see if we can't zoom in on that so that's the red illumination, which is pretty freaking awesome. And now we got the green illumination. This is a very compact crossbow. It'd be great for tree stand hunting or spotting and stalking. It's really lightweight. We're gonna go see how it shoots here and uh, heck yeah. All right, so we're gonna put a couple bolts down range and uh, see what this thing's all about. First things first, we gotta cock this thing. All right, so you, got these, you gotta get these hooks. You wanna get these hooks so they're coming up that way, just like that. You want to make sure your string back here is on this back piece all the time when you're using these caulking mechanisms. Then just pull with all your might, then you hear a click. Just like that. Ooh, that'll wear you out after a while. And then it's on fire right now, but this thing will not shoot unless you have the bolt in it. So we're going to grab a bolt, one of these pro flights. When you stick it in there, you have to get that bolt seated and you'll hear that click before that bolt will shoot so we're going to shoot at 20 yards here and see what happens 20 yards that's pretty dang close pretty quiet too really quiet actually cock another one here here we go Ooh. put one more down range here and then we might have to move the scope a little bit all right so that's a pretty good group we can go down and check it out here and we'll move the scope so we're shooting uh i would say about an inch to the left so we're gonna move it to the right a little bit 
and I don't think we have to move it up and down anymore. It should be about perfect. But we'll get these arrows out here. Yeah, about ruined an arrow. These things are expensive. All right, let's go move that scope. So with this scope here, it's just like a rifle scope if you sight in a rifle. So I'm gonna move it. That's up and down. We don't need we don't need that one. We need this one right here. Yes, this scope is freaking sweet. All right, so we just got an arrow pointing to the left. We it's got an arrow pointing to the left. We want to move it to the right here, so we're gonna move it the opposite direction. I'm gonna do about ten clicks here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like tapping it a little bit. Give it a little tap, tap, tap. Screw that back on. All right, set another one down range. Put one more down. Might have to move it over to the right again a little bit more. We'll get it there. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this thing is freaking quiet. Super quiet. Fire in the hole. Yep, we need to move it over about ten more clicks here. I'm gonna move it over buy more clicks it's getting there it's about dead nuts I did 10 let's go down and check this out I think we're perfect so this is the last arrow I shot after I made my last adjustment and this is the one before so as you can see that's basically right in the bullseye there so all you got to do with that scope is sight it in at 20 yards shoot it at 30 and see what it shoots at 40 50 and 60 but it should be all dead on and that's what that feet per second thing is because if you figure out what your feet per second is shooting on the scope you just move it to that feet per second and you're golden i mean pretty easy to sight in deluxe